you and welcome to the Barrel House. We got a great fall day. We got Buddy Taz over. We're doing uh, watching some college football and we are doing some grilling. I thought we'd do a little tasting. I've had these a while. I've been excited to try them. My brother in law brought them out to me this summer. You can't get these in Colorado. So we have the Benchmark Full Proof, 125 proof, and we have the Benchmark Single Barrel, 95 proof. We're gonna start with a little bit lower alcohol. Um, we'll go ahead and crank these off. I was gonna do a cork pop and then realized they're metal, so it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna let them breathe though, especially the 125 proofer. So we'll start and just let that breathe, and we're gonna go with the single barrel. Now the benchmark, I can get the regular out here, just the eight year. Um, actually, I didn't check to see how long. I know this is uh, this is four to five year, and I'm not sure on this one. Um, the age statement on the single barrel. So, but we got some cool cubes. If you find these, uh, look for them for Halloween. Uh, so we got skulls in here. Thought we'd do it over a little ice since we're out back. But uh, yeah, here we go. Cheers. Oh wow, right off the nose. I'm getting some vanilla, almost like a vanilla cinnamon caramel apple smell a little bit. Well, that's pretty smooth. It's good. That is good. Now these, if you can get them, now most people, they're hard to get. Um, I know they're in Florida and Georgia test market and I've heard that uh, Indiana got a little drop. That makes sense with MGP and everything up there. They probably took care of Indiana a little bit. Um, I, these had to make a road trip. So um, they're, they are, un nobody's heard of them in Colorado and I don't know when and if we'll ever get them. So he wasn't gonna get to try it. He's my whiskey buddy. So I'm like, well, let's crack these babies open. What do you think? It's good. It's got a nice, rich flavor if you just let it sit on the tongue and kind of you get all kinds of different sweetness and uh, yeah and I, I i prefer this over buffalo trace now i would compare this maybe um no, not the foolproof yet i would compare this single barrel check the video out he's tried it too um if you can find any buffalo trace store picks because that's a single barrel and um i would say that this kind of tastes like that um not the 57, but the, the other one is like 129 or something like that. Real, kind of a real stone fruit, fruity. Yeah. Um, this definitely has, uh, yeah, this is, hey, this is perfect for uh, Halloween coming and all the fun stuff in October, because this to me is kind of like a whiskey, uh, cinnamon caramel apple, maybe, yeah, and vanilla caramel. It's got some vanilla in it, and some fruit, I swear, it's Cherry. nice and rich. Yeah, really, It's got yeah. a nice, smooth richness to it. I'll tell you what, I wish I could get this all the time, because I would be... For a twenty-five dollar bottle of bourbon, this drinks like a lot more than that, don't you think? Oh hell yeah, that's that's. This drinks like a forty, fifty dollar bottle of bourbon, yep. easy. Uh, it's got a lot of complexities for that cheap of a bourbon. Uh, this stuff is through the top. I'll be doing a, I'll be doing some as the winter hits. I'll be doing some blind tasting and doing a contest of stuff like under fifty dollars. And I have a feeling that this makes the finals. Oh so, yeah, uh, if you could find that here in Colorado. Well, it'd be, it'd be, yeah, I mean, you sell the hell out of it. They'll, yeah, the Cesarac Buffalo Trace keeps doing that. You know, they put this stuff out and then immediately make it um, a unicorn because it's so good and they put it at such a low price. I mean, I, I think I'd, I'd probably pay 45 bucks a bottle for that. What do you think? Yeah, that, that's Would, right in that, line with some, where it should be. Yeah, yeah, I'd say this is, I'd say this is easily worth a $45 bottle of, of bourbon. Wow, boy, that's that is delicious. Nice. Good. You know those candy, like vanilla candy cherry apples? That's kind of what this tastes like. I'm not really getting any cinnamon or spice, really. This, no. is, this is just stone fruit, vanilla. Um, very smooth. Very smooth. It's not, it's not, not hot. Um, it's not even a nice getting a lot of oak, really. Real it's light just, on the oak. Nice, easy drinking. Wow. Be good for uh, a beginner. A lot of people that first trying whiskey. Yeah, you yeah, you can get a hold of this. This is just a, anybody that's just trying to get into whiskey, this is a way to start them. They'll like it. This is delicious, especially over a little bit of ice. Give it a little bit of, um, yeah, it's nice out back. Didn't want to go on just neat, so just one little ice cube. Plus, you know, those things are cool. All right, now we're going to go, we're going to go up the uh, chain a little bit. Uh, we're going from 95 proof to 125 proof. So, here's one little water. Here you go. Um, 
Now I've heard great things. We have one buddy that got a bottle of this from a friend that was driving through um, Kentucky and was able to get a bottle for him. And I think he drank it all. <laughs> so, uh, and, he, and we, he didn't share. And so this one is definitely gonna be uh, not probably the smoothness, but I've heard great things about it. And I, that's why I wanna do it second to let it just breathe out the bottle and uh, let it sit for a few minutes spin around. Oh wow, that's got a nice nose. Now that's definitely a rich brown sugar oak. It's like that's that's got a real brown sugary um, nose to it and oaky. There's a little bit of heat there that I'm, that I'm getting. Maybe a hair of ethanol right at the end of the but oh wow no ethanol in the flavor. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No Boy, that's so. that's cinnamon brown sugar. That is a cinnamon brown sugar like uh, spice cake right there. Just wow, that is not uh, run like 125. No, feet. no, there's no very, heat at the end at all. No, it, it, even at the beginning, it's just very, very minor heat to where very anybody could drink this, even if they're just a beginner in the whiskey or yeah. If you don't like the heat, this, this does not drink like 125 proof. Mm -hmm. Holy cow, no, this no. stuff is fantastic. This is one of I love, I got, you've seen some of my foolproof videos. This is, uh, this goes right to the top of the list. Holy cow. Once again, $25 bottle of bourbon. Uh, I put this up against Larceny. I put this up against uh, Barrel Proof 12 year um, um, Elijah Craig. I put this up against a lot of, I've got a lot of stuff downstairs. I'm drawing blanks. What do you call me? I just, this is for, just dollar for that bottle. That's, that's definitely up there for, Somebody wants to try a little higher proof stuff to get into the game, and no, that's for that price. That's still it's a very very smooth. It's still it's not overpowering. It's you can tell it's got a little more punch to it, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't just jump out at you. That is that is delicious. All right, yeah. I mean, I I keep trying to look for a different flavor to say anything bad about it, but I'm getting a. Cinnamon, brown sugar, baked spice, oaky deliciousness. It's like it's just like a. It doesn't. Like a, it yeah, doesn't suck. It's like a. <laughs> it's like a cinnamon brown sugar cake, almost. Uh, so you, instead of the oak, let's say okay, you do. Um, you know, people do pizzas and stuff. It's almost like a. This would be like a uh, campfire. Um, yeah. Brown sugar cake. Yep. You know, if like you, you cooked, you know how you'll do your pies, you'll do stuff over the campfire when you're up camping? This would be like a campfire uh, yeah, brown it, sugar it, cake. Yep, it's, it's, got, got that. it's got some of that that nose to it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, look for these. Find them if you can. If you know anybody that can get them for you uh, Christmas, yeah, have them send them to you. You know, anybody that can get them in their state, I will be talking to my brother-in-law right away to see if I can get him to send me a couple more bottles. So put one on a shelf, put one on a glass. I hope you enjoy the uh, forest out back, and uh, I hope you are doing something fun in your yard if it's nice weather, or watching some football, or playing some golf, and definitely drinking some bourbon. Cheers, everybody.